back everybody. Uh, Van Hendrickson, Average Joe's here again. I uh, wanted to do a quick video on my favorite uh, local uh, hard bait painter, uh, Drew Barnaby with Buzz's Baits. Everybody knows that I am a big fan of his French Pearl 110 jerk baits, and Sometimes he uh, gets a little upset with me telling everybody that like this is the only color and only type of bait that he can paint Nothing could be further from the truth. I've known him long enough. I've got a pretty good collection of his baits now um, Again, that's French Pearl, but that one's in the 110 plus one get you down a little deeper um, He also can do pro blue Good color and clear water this is one that's kind of a local favorite. It's called Sizzle Fry. Um, black on the nose, gold on the cheeks, silver down the sides, and then it's also got the purple dots, even the purple dots by the hook hangers there. Fish will smash this. This one happens to be one of the KBD uh, Strike King ones. This one's another kind of a local favorite for smallmouth. I don't know if you can see that. It's uh, kind of like a pink back chartreuse sexy shad and the smallies and even walleye will just really eat these up around here here's another one i called this one the bleeding shad as you can see it's got bloodline by the eyes bloodline down by the back and it's kind of a clear almost like a tennessee shad or ghost minnow color with that blood on it it looks like one that maybe a minnow that's been on a hook and been hit a few times and and kind of beat up a little bit it looks injured easy prey Maybe they'll go for it. I even liked it so much that I had him uh, put that on a, a swim bait, and that's pretty cool. And I also had him do one that's a uh, crappie pattern on the flow glider. And then I bought my uh, six inch bull shad. I had him do his famous uh, gizzard shad with that gold cheek on it and the uh, gray silver sides with the black back. And uh, just a, a really good gizzard shad color around these parts. That, that gold cheek just seems to set them off. I've got quite a few of his baits in that gold cheeked uh, gizzard shad color. A Strike King two and a half. One of the Mega Bass S cranks. Uh, that's knockoff, I believe. But man, I just got this one the other day. Love it. I've got some of them in that gizzard shad and the. Strike King one and a half shallow. See that small lip there? That only lets it down to about three feet as compared to a normal square bill that lets you get down to about five. So um, that helps keep it a little shallower, especially I like throwing this right above the grass and stuff in shallow areas. Um, man, they'll just come up and blast that. And then I also got one in uh, his bluegill pattern, which is really, really good pattern. And then he's got another uh, bluegill pattern that, I mean, there is no way that this camera is going to do this paint job justice. It is just such a really cool looking bait. Really good looking job there. And I took one of my old man's one minus and had him do a uh, pumpkin seed color to it. Here is a mega bass wake bait in the gizzard shad color. So as you can see, I like that gizzard shad color as much as I like the French Pearl. This is one of his uh, popping, topwater popping baits, uh, black with a little bit of a greenish gold on it. Um, good dark color for low light night conditions. This one I really, really like. Uh, a uh, frog pattern. Nice, good colors there. Um, Really good uh, topwater popping bait. Here is Buzzjet Junior in a black with blue and silverish gray sides, kind of a more of a thread thin shad looking. This is the small one. Uh, this one's the Big Mama. This one is in his bluegill pattern. This is the Big Buzzjet. It's a topwater wake bait. So that is. Uh, just at least a small sample. Um, I've been buying baits from me now for probably five years. So check out Buzz's Baits. He can paint up anything you want. Thanks.